Hello, hello, hello. For today's video, I'm doing a challenge. So I've got £10 to spend on Too Good To Go. If you've never heard of Too Good To Go, it's an app on your phone to save food waste. So a lot of like restaurants and takeaways and Greg's and things like that are on it. That's what I'm doing today. Unfortunately, Lulu's not gonna be in this video because she's really not well today. So she's still in bed actually. But I'll just be doing it on my own. Got three different restaurants I've managed to bag a bag at. And yeah, I'll take you with me. But for this challenge, so I've got £10 to spend on the three meals today. Just from Too Good To Go. And that's all I'm surviving off food-wise. Obviously, I do have to have drinks as well. Because some places on Too Good To Go actually do drinks. So I, I got a bubble tea one a few months back. Oh, I did not like it. It was disgusting. We've got the England game as well. Because it's the Euros at the moment. That's five o'clock kickoff. So I'll be having a drink there, but I will not have any food so that I can follow this challenge. Lulu may be getting food, she'll, she'll probably be with me, with me for a few bits of it, but it's me doing video. Because of her not being very well with her health today and stuff, she can't do a challenge like this, unfortunately. But, back to the game plan of today. Right here, you can see me getting on my phone. I was just getting the app loaded up so that when I went into the restaurant, it was nice and quick to show her that I'd paid for it and to swipe right. Big thanks. If you're still watching this video and you're enjoying it, please do drop us a like below. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you are for future videos like this. No, no, we just want to Got a too good to go to collect. Yeah. No, that's it, thank you. It's two. Uh, just one. Just one. Perfect, thanks a lot. Have a good day. So you'll have seen there, I got my phone up and uh, swipes right, because a lot of restaurants actually tell you to, but you're meant to swipe right and then show them that you have, because this is the time you actually get charged for it when you've actually collected it. So that is my first collection collected for today. Got a breakfast from Toby Carvery. So I'm going to teleport home and then show you what we've got. It's got an empty plate so far, but as you'll have seen, I just went to Toby Carvery and got a breakfast from Toby Carvery, which was £2.79. Let's see what I've got. Can I get the bloody lid off? Seems there's not much. I've seen some people's too good to have, and they got like four hash browns, like several sausages. I'll get it out on the plate and I'll show you better. So I've got an egg. Got one hash brown. It's very soggy. It's covered in uh, tomato. One bit better hash brown. Ah, there's a bit of bacon hiding down here as well. A few rushes of bacon, all stuck together there. A sausage with a bit more bacon on it. A bit of uh, tomato and another sausage. And then, oh, there's, there's another little bit of bacon, and there's a load of mushrooms, and mushrooms and, uh, what is this, is it potato? I think it's like a swede. All right, I'm hungry. And there's about 15 beans. 
which I'm bitter disappointed about. I really like beans. But that's that's pretty substantial breakfast, really. Little plate here. Pretty substantial breakfast, really, isn't it? For two pounds seventy nine. So I'm a bit funny about heating meat up and stuff. Especially like all this, so I'll probably be having it cold, which is a bit of a shame. Probably won't be too nice cold. But I'll let you know how it is. Yeah, the restaurant was about 10 minutes away from Lulu's flat, which is where I am at the moment. And I got stuck in a bit of traffic on the way back, so it took me about 15 minutes, but it seemed like the box had been left out on the side at Turby Carvery for quite a while. So I think it was pretty cold. And on top of that, I also just stopped off at the cash machine to get that tenner to show you in video. <laughs> I don't normally do cash. So I will have a scram, let you know how it is. Not good. I think I should have heated it up. Oh. Not very nice, a cold, full English breakfast. So, in case you didn't know, Toby Carvery, where I got that from. It's a bit of a sort of well-known chain in the UK. So they do breakfast, like I've just had, and then they also, what they're best known for is their Carveries big platter of all your sort of Sunday dinner style carvery food loads of different meats you can choose from and all sorts and the quality is okay it, it's good but it's nothing amazing just been sat there all day on it and this breakfast I'm guessing has been sat there since early this morning and then it was like lukewarm I really should have heated it up. I eat really badly generally, and I am really missing being able to have like a nice chocolate bar or a donut or something really nice and sweet. Yeah, all I've had so far today is savoury stuff. And I don't know what I'm gonna do about this jacket potato that I just got. Probably just have to put it in the fridge and have it some other time because. I could have it for my tea, but then I'm getting another two good to go for tea. I'd never actually been to this place before. It was actually on the university campus, so it was a bit hard to find. This is the thing, some of the too good to go places are like the train station for example where you have to have a ticket to get to the shop. So if you're commuting then it's fantastic, but if you're just wanting the too good to go then yeah. Eventually I found out that I actually had to go upstairs to the 7th floor. I should have thought when it was cafe 7 but could have been anywhere and I got the lift up to the restaurant on floor 7 but yeah back to what I was saying is if you're commuting and stuff that'd be great and the same with like being on university campus if you were a med student which I believe this is the campus I was on then it'd be fantastic to collect you too good to go on your way when you're leaving uni and then then I came into here and it just looked like a library or something it didn't look like there was any restaurant or cafe in there or anything so I took a bit more of a walk and then just sort of got lost then I read then I read that sign there and it said that there was actually a cafe here so there was a cafe just hidden around the corner here I walked in and it all just looked rather shut there wasn't even anyone there so I had a little peek round door there in a second. Yep, there. <laughs> and the woman came over. Hello, I've got a two good to go to collect. Just 
Perfect. Thanks a lot. As you'll have seen, she actually checked whether I had swiped on the app. Uh, I'm guessing there must be an issue with some people saying that they've got them and then claiming their money back or something, saying that they never collected them. Because quite a few of the restaurants do ask to show proof and stuff. When we've been to Toby Carvery before, we've been for the full Carveries on an evening and they've asked us before as well. Well, I was just walking around this building like I was meant to be here. It's part of the uni. Uh, trying to find where I was meant to go. I've got my bag here. And yeah, parking was a bit of an issue here. So like Leeds Uni permit parking and stuff. So may have just had to uh, dump it quickly outside on some WLers. They didn't get a ticket. Just coming back to the car now. Lulu's got a hospital appointment that I've just brought her to now, so I'll check in with you in a bit to open it. And I'm back. I've got the other bag. So as you'll have just seen, I went to the Leeds Uni. And I got a bit lost. And it felt like I shouldn't be there. But I got a bag from Cafe 7, I think it's called. Let's go all the way up to the 7th floor. So, let's see what I've got. Seems like there's quite a bit in here. There's a sandwich and two boxes of what looked like probably, probably cooked food. So the sandwich I've got is a tuna mayonnaise. Oh, I absolutely hate tuna. Tuna mayonnaise and sweet corn. Lulu, I've got one for you here. Oh, yeah. Luckily, Lulu likes tuna. So I'll leave that for her. And I've got two, they look like cooked food. But it's been a while since I collected it because I had to go and drop Lulu off at the hospital and then wait for her to have her appointment. And the pharmacy took 25 minutes to get her prescription ready. So let's see what there is. Start with this big one. Oh, wow. So just a reminder, I paid £2.50 for this box. £2.50. It's like pie and chips. Banging. Don't know what pie it is yet. I'll let you know. And the other one. Oh, jacket potato and beans. Hey, these aren't bad, these, are they? Look at that. Jacket potato and beans. Jacket potato and beans. Oh, you can't see now. Pie and chips. And a halal tuna mayonnaise and sweet corn butty. Well, it will be halal because it's fish. I don't know why it says halal everywhere. But all three of them. £2.50. So I'm going to heat up this in microwave and I'll let you know how it is. I am fully aware that this is an oven and not a microwave. To be honest, this lunch that I've got could probably last me lunch ante. Knife and fork. There's a bloody bin in there, so I'll just move that out of the way. So, I don't know what pie it is, so let's find out. Looks like a chicken pie. Chicken, I think. Lovely. I'll let you know how it is. Absolute bargain this though. A jacket potato with beans, pie, chips, and then also a tuna and sweet corn sandwich, all for £2.50. That's that could feed you for a full day that on £2.50.
Mmm. I love a good pie. It's like a smoked. Mmm. It's lovely that. Obviously, chips are never amazing heated up, unfortunately. They're all right. A bit mushy. But the pie. Mmm, lovely. So luckily Delhi Ches, this last place that I got my tea from, is walking distance from Lulu's. I've got a uh, too good to go to collect. And this is my final meal of the day. My tea. If you're from Yorkshire, you'll get that reference. Delhi Ches, which is just down, just down the road. You'll have seen. I uh, walked down there. Two boxes of cooked food. What's this? It looks like a pasta dish. A pasta and cheese and chicken. Mm. That's pasta, some big bits of chicken and cheese. So that's meal one. Lighting's a little bit worse than earlier on now, I do apologise. We don't have any big fancy studio lights or anything. And then, this is also, oh look at that, jacket potato. So another jacket potato, but this time with chilli, I think. Looks like a chilli. So, this was four pound I paid. Got both of these. Pretty good, pretty good. That, that'd feed two people, that. But I'm only doing it on my own. See if Lulu might want one of the jacket potatoes or something. Cause that is a bit of me, that pasta dish. Can't wait. And they're piping hot as well. They make them fresh there for you at this uh, restaurant, actually. They're piping hot, lovely. Oh, oh, that's gone off. Oh, 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 that's better. We do have big fancy strobe lighting. <laughs> I just need to uh, get some cutlery and I'll tuck into this and let you know what I think. So it's cheese all over the plate. So it's... Hmm. can tell that chicken's been sat a while. Very, very chewy. Spicy, jeez, and then pasta. Just tastes like a pasta in a slight tomato sauce. But once again, for four pound, all this really isn't bad. So the answer to the question, can you survive on 10 pound worth of too good to go for a day you can eat at some lovely restaurants, have some nice food, and you definitely can. This test has uh, shown you can probably do it for several days. Definitely, this will feed me for uh, tomorrow as well. So big thanks for everyone who's watched this video. I'm gonna tuck into my tea now. Make sure you do drop a comment down below of what other challenges you would like us to do. Me and Lulu have got loads planned and hopefully she feels well enough to participate in the future ones. So I'm gonna crack into this and have me tea. Sin a bit.